What's up, Calc Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. So it's uh, wanting to find basically where the center mass, or where y bar is, which is the center mass in the y direction. So we want to find how far up the center mass. And so let's get started. So when you have a problem like this, uh, we have a table here. You want to break it up into segments, and then you want to basically find the center mass of all those segments and find the center mass of all of that combined. So we want to break it up into segments that are going to be easy, because right now it's pretty complicated. So the segments that we want to break it up to is simple shapes. So the simplest shapes we can find here are three rectangles. So we have, let's label this section one, label this section two, and label this section three. So we have now segment one, two, three. So now, uh, all we have to do is find the area of each one of those and the center mass of all of those, and then use a formula. So the area of segment one, right, it's just gonna be uh, width times height, so it'll be 36 times 200. So 36 times 200 is uh, not two, 7,200 millimeters cubed, or millimeters squared. So then for segment two, segment two is 400 long and 50 wide, or 50 tall, so it's gonna be 400 times 50. So 400 times 50 is 20,000. And then segment three is the same as segment one, 7,200. So now we need to find the center mass of all these. So something, finding the center mass of a rectangle is a lot easier uh, than, a, than a table, for example. So center mass of segment one is just gonna be halfway up. So it's gonna be half of 200, which is just 100, pretty simple. So then we know for segment three it's going to be the same because segment three is you know very similar. So then for segment two, well you're going to have to be halfway of segment two, so it's going to be 25 millimeters up, but it's 25 up from this. So you're going to take the 200, 200 plus half of 50, so 200 plus 25, 225 millimeters. So then the final part here is y tilde times a, so we're multiplying a or y tilde times the area of each segment. So all you have to do is multiply this by 100, simply 7,200,000, 7, or 720,000. Multiplying these two numbers together, you get 4,500,000. And then this is the same as that, 7,000, 720,000. Cool. So then our final step is using our formula. So the formula for this, uh, y bar, is equal to the sum of y tilde area over all the areas. So we have y tilde area, we have these three, and we have all the areas, so now we just need to add them up. So it's simply gonna be 7,000, or 720,000, plus 4,500,000, plus 720,000, divided by all of our areas, so 7,200 plus 20,000 plus 720,000, just like this. So then you do this math, and you get 175, or 173, excuse me, 73 millimeters. And there's your final answer. So pretty simple, right? Uh, if we were to draw that, it's gonna be like most of the way up here, and that's kind of what we'd expect it to be, right? So yeah, our number makes sense, realistically, everything works out. So that's how you solve this kind of problem, not too tricky. If you have any trouble on your statics homework, feel free to check out my channel, and uh, yeah, check out my playlist, and leave any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time, peace.